welcome to the Lesson 8 Practice Recordings. We're going to talk about making up your own music in this one. Today, for Lesson 8, we have three songs that are in E minor. And so we, when we make up our songs, we're going to actually be playing in E minor as well. There are a few things that are helpful to know about playing in a minor key to make it sound better. So, in E minor, the bottom note is E, and then the fingers play the same notes that we had for G major. You have F sharp, and then all white notes. Left hand plays through the fingers with F sharp. The difference is that very often in a minor key, what they want to do is they want to include the D sharp because what happens is you have a you have an E minor chord and then a B chord, B, F sharp, A, leads you back to E minor. So um, you can download this music and print it out if you want. We have these chords, very common. E minor, C chord, A minor, and then we have B major with the D sharp. It changes it. You don't have to, but a lot of people do, and it's so common that I really needed to mention it. So the chord chart, C, A minor, B major, okay? I wanted to play through that a few times. You can improvise melodies in your right hand on top of what I just played. And you can also use it in as, as an example. So I'll just share with you some of the ideas that were used in the left hand of the three songs. So if you decide to make up a song based on those ideas, you can start from this recording. You could also listen to those songs. So one of the things that I do is I start to spread out the left hand a little bit. Instead of playing all five notes right in a row, which is fine. What I do is where the thumb usually goes, I'm going to play with my second finger. That frees up my thumb to play the octave. Right? And you can move that pattern to the C. You can move it to the A minor. You can move it to the B. Now if your hand's kind of small, pinky finger, Get the second finger here, and then you can rotate your wrist and slip in your first finger, right? Most people can reach this much, and then they have, may have to spread out if you're younger and your hand is really small. The second finger becomes the anchor. If you pick up your fingers and hop around, it's easy to get lost. But if you'll just keep your hand close, I think you'll find success. And then on top of that, you can be playing. There's your D sharp. All right. 
another idea that I used that is very common in many styles of music is this idea of a syncopation. A syncopation is leaving nothing happening on the beat, but playing between the beats. Guitar players do this a lot with their strumming. They'll strum off beats and they'll change it up so it doesn't all sound the same. One way of getting that going is to play eighth notes in the, in the right hand. Yeah, it's a little mechanical, but it gets the coordination going. And once the coordination is going, then you can start to get fancy. Right? So very often what I like to do is I like to get the foundation under me. So these are the two rhythms that I'm fooling around with for this song. This is the pattern, and this is how they mix together with the hands. And then I'll start to get fancy. I'll, I'll do the thumb under and spread out. I'll throw in long notes, and I'll stick in syncopations. It's, you know, it's like cooking a recipe without looking at the recipe. Um, and that's a whole lot easier to do when you have spent time with the scale and the echo and the jam because you're used to getting those things more in, in, in a simpler form. Um, I hope you find it helpful. Um, these songs in E minor, pretty famous, and when you start to improvise in E minor, I think you'll really find uh, that you like it. Thanks so much.